Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's the end of September and it's officially fall in the mountains. I thought I would just come out for a couple of days, enjoy the change in the season, the beautiful fall colors, and give you guys just a little bit of a taste as to what it's like out here this time of year. So it's kind of late in the day. I'm going to make camp and we'll get an early start in the morning. So whenever I come out to the mountains, I always try and sleep out under the stars the first night if I possibly can. You know, the fresh air, the wide open spaces, clear skies, the temperature is warm. It just doesn't get any better than this. So it's about 7.30 in the morning and the sun's coming up. It's a beautiful night last night. It was pretty windy. But I have to tell you, it was probably the warmest night I've spent in the mountains ever. 60 degrees overnight. It was beautiful. So you probably can't see it very clearly, but right in the very center of the frame where the trees meet the mountains, there's a little bit of a grassy meadow, and that's where you and I are heading today. These wild rose hips are everywhere up here this time of year. Makes a good breakfast on the trail, just don't eat the seeds. So one of the things I wanted to do on this hike was to make it a little bit more of a walkabout and less of a hard hike trying to cover a lot of miles. I thought I'd take a little bit of a diversion here today and come up to one of the ridges that we looked at in the summertime. It's probably about 20 kilometers out of the way but uh, fall colors are so nice I thought I'd show it to you. It's a little bit windy up there so let's go up take a look and then we'll come down the back side. Just a quick look at the gear before I set up the tarp shelter. Everything you see there fits inside the $30 25 liter Bass Pro backpack. But from the right hand corner on the bottom, a little bit extra paracord, a bag of personal hygiene, dental floss, that kind of thing. Tokes titanium 750 milliliter pot with the, the small fuel bottle. Uh, a few steel tent pegs beside that. In the back I've got my belt which has got a small silky saw in it. Um, MSR water filter and my headlamp and the other pouch has the ammunition basically. Uh, beside that I've got one lightweight down jacket this time. The 
light outdoors tarp shelter you see in the back there, thermorest inflatable pad, that's a Neo Air, fairly light. Uh, military surplus down or Gore-Tex jacket, wood sleeping bags, Mylar emergency blankets to the left, and then of course my automotive uh, windshield sunscreen for a little bit of insulation underneath the pad and my sleeping bag. So it's time to cook some dinner. Uh, tonight I'm going to do that on my MSR Dragonfly stove. Normally I would have brought a stick stove along, but it's still so dry out here. There's a fire ban, so I'm going to go with something else this trip. I've had this stove for about 20 years and I've always run it on kerosene. I've converted it back to Coleman fuel or white gas and I'm going to run it with a little fuel bottle here on this trip. Now the thing about an MSR Dragonfly, if you have one, uh, you know they're pretty bulky. They're, they're great stoves, but the long gangly legs on there um, <laughs> just aren't very compact. So what I did on this trip, you're probably wondering how I got it into that small pot there. Well, basically, I, I cut the legs off and left those at home. So I'm going to improvise a little bit here tonight, and we'll see how it works out. So it's just before 10 o'clock in the morning. Been on the trail for about an hour or so. A little bit cooler last night, but still above freezing, so that was nice. I'd say temperature here today is about uh, 50 Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. Overcast, doesn't look like it's gonna rain, but pretty ideal hiking conditions. Just walking through some interesting terrain here, some old logging roads. It's a bit of a clear cut here. Obviously they logged this a number of years ago. Kind of curious as to why they haven't replanted it yet, but maybe there's a reason for it. So I know where to come for gross now. They're just all along this trail. I'm literally about 15 feet away from this guy. I already had one for a late lunch here. And there's no way that I can take another one. Can't eat it, can't keep it. So in the meantime, I'll just watch him watching me. We're all 10 feet away now. There he goes. Well, it's after four o'clock and I am off the trail. I've got my GPS and I'm heading for a point on the map. So I hope I can get there from here. Okay, I knew if I went south long enough, eventually I'd come across this old road that I had been on before. I have a pretty good idea where I am. And there's a creek right there. So I think it's time to make camp for the night.
I don't know, this looks like as good a spot as any. So that gross was a pretty good sized lunch on the trail today and it really wasn't that long ago, about four hours, it's six o'clock now. So I think I'm just gonna heat some water here, put in about half a beef bouillon cube and have a little bit of a light broth for dinner. So it's just after 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm on the trail again. It was a little bit of a colder night last night, just below freezing, minus 2 Celsius, but honestly that's to be expected here for the first day of October. So today I'm going to try and check out some higher trails. Weather looks good, hopefully the conditions stay clear and we get some good views from up there. Satellite image shows that cut line over there carrying on to the north. Uh, but it wasn't clear on the little bit of a ravine and bush uh, between this one and that one. Well, that is the end of this road. I guess I'm bushwhacking over to the other cut line to see if it's any better. No, I don't know. This looks pretty dense. Carry on a bit. This little creek's a welcome sight. At least I can fill up the bottles. So there's a little valley and denser brush I just came through up this other side here. And that's the brown streak visible from Google Earth that I hope actually goes somewhere. So I managed to work my way out to this old logging road and a little bit further up to the ridge. It's pretty hazy today, but still a fantastic view and worth the climb. Well, this is a pretty fantastic view up high on the ridge in the other direction here. It's a nice trail, I just don't know where it comes out in the bottom. Well, it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I've given you all kinds of updates as to where I am, but I'm really no closer to getting off this ridge. It's been some nice views, but it just kind of keeps going and going. I hope, I'd hoped I would be down by now. Well, as much as I don't want to go off trail this late in the day here, common sense is telling me I'm just going to have to make my way down if I want to find water. So I made it back down to the valley, pretty good water source here, but honestly it's not a great spot to make camp, it's pretty rocky. There's a lot of game track running right through here, I think it's kind of a choke point in this narrow little valley here. I might just get stepped on in the middle of the night. So I think what I'm going to do is have a good drink, fill my bottles, and move away just a little bit and make camp. Well, good morning. It's day five. A little bit of frost on the tarp shelter overnight, but otherwise it's looking to be another beautiful day. Well, it's just after nine o'clock in the morning, day five, and I'm on the trail and it's time to head home. This one's been a little bit of a different adventure for me with no set agenda, just wandering around the mountains, enjoying the fall colors. I appreciate you coming along and sharing it with me. And if you haven't already done so, check out my Instagram page. You can have lots of photos of this adventure up there and others. And until next time, take it easy.